Hello, kindy kids. It has been so long since we have seen you guys and we miss you so much. But just because we haven't seen you doesn't mean we're not thinking of you. We think of you often. Zoe and Joel, Alex, Emily, Talia, Remy, Jacob, Adia and Ruby, who I've heard had a very special birthday. I hope it was a great day, Ruby. And Jacob, I've got a little friend here to help me today because he's always with me. This is Bruce, my doggy, and he's going to listen to the story today too. Well, today is very special in Kindy Kids because we're starting a new series. That means we're learning about something new. We're going to be learning about fruit. Now, you might say fruit and you think of bananas, apples, strawberries, yum, and lots of other fruit that grows on trees. But we're talking about a different type of fruit. We're talking about the fruits of the spirit. Now these things also grow, but not on a tree. These are thing that, things that grow inside of us. They're things that God sends his Holy Spirit to help grow inside of us, to help us be more like Jesus. Now you might ask, what are the fruits of the spirit? Well, you're going to learn about one each week. So I'm only, I won't talk to you about them all today, but their names are things like joy, peace, patience, kindness. But today we're going to talk about love, the fruit of the spirit of love. Now, Jesus can help us grow love inside. There's many types of love. And we'll talk about that a little bit more today after the story. But let's start our talk about the fruit of the spirit of love by watching a video about a man called the Good Samaritan. And you will see in this video how he showed love in how he helped another man. So let's watch the video and see what you think. The Parable of the Good Samaritan Let's all sit and listen to a story Jesus told. Everyone gather round, girl, boy, young and old. A Jewish man was traveling to Jericho when he was attacked by bandits. Uh-oh. By chance, a priest came and heard the man cry. Ugh, yuck. He saw the man lying there but passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! A Levite came and saw the man lying there. Please help. Uh, huh? But he passed him by too, without a care. Then came a Samaritan, not a single moment too late. He saw the hurting man on the ground and didn't hesitate. The Samaritan quickly helped the man, helping all his owies. Then he picked him up and put him on his donkey. He took the man to an inn One room, and cared for him through the night. The next day, he paid the innkeeper to make sure the man was all right. Jesus asked, which of these was a neighbor to that man? And everyone knew that it was the Samaritan. So what did you think of that story? It was a pretty good video, wasn't it? I don't know about you, but I think I would love to have someone like that good Samaritan living near me. If I happen to hurt myself or get lost, he just came up and helped. What a lovely, lovely man. And do you know what's even more amazing? Is that Samaritan, well, he was meant to be enemies with the Jewish man. The Jewish and the Samaritans were enemies. Even though they were enemies, the Samaritan, the good Samaritan, still helped that Jewish man. Not only helped him, but went out of his way to look after that Jewish man, giving him his money and caring for him. Do you have anyone in your life who sometimes can be a bit hard to love? When I was younger, though, my brother I sometimes found hard to love. 
but I love them a lot now. Um, I don't know if your brother picks on you sometimes, you don't feel like you want to love them, you feel quite angry with them. Maybe there's someone at school who's not always nice. It can be really hard to love people like that all the time, but that's where God gives us the fruit of the spirit of love. And we can ask God to help us love those friends or those people at school or brothers and sisters who are sometimes not nice to us. What else do you think you could do to show your love to people like that or other people in your life? Maybe you can tell your mum and dad some ideas. I'm assuming they're there with you. What about making a card? We're not allowed to go out as much at the moment. It would be lovely to make a card for someone who you love, your grandma, your neighbour, your mum, your dad, your brother or that person at school who's sometimes a bit mean to you. It would be lovely to make them a card or write them a letter to show your love for them. We could be like the Good Samaritan when someone falls over and hurt themselves or someone's sad at school. Come alongside them and see if you can help them and what's wrong and be a friend to them. Do you know another way of showing love to your mum and dad is when they ask you to do something, if you do it straight away for them. If you do that, that makes life a lot easier for mum and dad if you do what they ask first time and that's a way of showing love as well. Maybe you've got a little brother and sister and they're learning to talk or walk or do something. You can help them by encouraging them as they do those new things. Look, it's been great today learning about the fruit of the spirit of love and to help us think about this during the week, there's a couple of things. Firstly, I would love it if all of you this week did one thing to show your love to somebody else. Maybe like we talked about before, you could write a card for someone in your life. If someone at school hurts themselves or at kindy, you can show kindness and help them. Maybe when mum and dad ask you to do something, you do it straight away. And that's showing love to mum and dad. The other thing I want you to do is we're going to do a little bit of craft. We're going to make something, hang it up, and it will remind you all week that God is growing the fruit of the spirit of love inside of you. So this is what I've made. Now the hand is like a tree. And just like fruit goes on a normal tree, God is growing the fruits of the Spirit in us. So for that reason, what you need to do to make the tree is this. You put your hand down and hello, like this, all this, any shape you want to do. Well, it needs to be the hand. And then we trace then around trace it. But you mind it's on a help or adult. And I've just realised I didn't tell you what you need for this. So you need a hand and then you need a pencil. Mm-hmm. And, and what else? you might want to do a little curve if you want. I That's might right. do that if okay. I want to. So what you need is you can either have well, brown, brown paper or just white paper. And then you can have um, lots of other coloured paper to use or you can have white paper and colour it in. So what we've done is we've made the handprint and that's going to be the tree and then if it's in white paper, colour it in brown to look like the tree and then using, I'm son. using all the different coloured paper you've got or white paper that you've coloured in, you can make all different leaves to go on your tree. Okay. Like my mum's. So this is my tree with my name on it and I've done some love petals on it. So I might write my name on this. So over the next few weeks, you can add to your hand tree with the other fruits of the spirit you learn about, or you might want mum and dad to tell you about those um, fruits of the spirit now, and you can do it all today. And hang this up to remind you that God, through his Holy Spirit, is growing his fruits of the spirit inside of you. Okay, we're going to end now by just having a prayer. 
So if you can put your hands together and close your eyes, let's pray to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for today that we could all get together and learn more about how much you love us and how we can show your love to others. Jesus, I thank you for every one of these awesome kidney kids. For Joel, for Alex, for Emily, for Talia, for Zoe, for Remy and Ruby, for Jacob, and Adia, Lord. You love every one of them so much. And the, you love watching over them and they bring such delight to your heart. Jesus, we thank you that you are love. How awesome that the man that created the world, the person, the being that is love, that you love us. Please help us stay close to you and help us to continue to learn to be loving just like you. Amen.